everyone and welcome to today's video on creating an Anglo-Saxon piece of jewellery. So in the previous video we created a sketch, a detailed sketch using pencil or inspired by Anglo-Saxon jewellery and today we are making it with tin foil. So you are going to need, as you can see, tin foil, your design photocopied and some masking tape to hold down your design to the tin foil. So as you can see, I'm flicking back and forth from um, my tracing. So you've got a photocopied image that you are going to trace over and then as you are tracing over it with the tin foil underneath, you are going to be checking to see how the marks are coming out. Notice I switched from the whiteboard to a softer um, sketchbook as my base because the sketchbook allowed me to push harder onto the page and then I got a much more um, better result and I'm just checking it here. And you can see already the difference between the side where I did it on the whiteboard and the side where I did it with the book underneath. It's a much, much better effect. And the tin foil um, creates a much more better dented impression from your biro pen. So you're simply just tracing over what you've created last time with a biro pen so that you can see there as I'm lifting it um, your pattern underneath. Try not to press or let your hand press on top of your design because it might flatten out the design that you are tracing onto your tin foil. So once you have done that, you can see that the pen has created a traced mark for you to be able to then outline. Now I took all the negative areas, so the white spaces that were left on my jewellery design and I decided to fill them in with a black permanent pen marker because then I thought all of the fine parts of detail would really stand out. So I used my permanent marker filling in all the white areas, so it's almost like opposite, okay, so which is what inverse means, opposite. And I decided to fill those white parts in with the black permanent marker. So you've got two, three steps to this. One is to trace, the second is to use your permanent marker and the last part, after you've filled in the white areas, the inverse white areas of that detailed area, uh, using a permanent marker carefully and gently, the last step is to apply gemstones to your jewellery to really make it pop symmetrically onto your design. And that is it. There's your three steps, trace, permanent marker, gemstones, beautiful piece of jewellery. Enjoy. Bye guys.